Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Sarah Harper and I'm one of the co-leads on the IHH gender theme. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the University of British Columbia uh, and I've been studying gender and fisheries for some time now and I'm very excited to be sharing the podium today with Danica Kleiber. Over, over to you, Danica. Hi, so I'm a social scientist with NOAA and uh, this project was uh, part of my postdoc with Worldfish and uh, James Cook University ARC Center of Excellence for Coral Reef Studies. I'm also a big fan of everything related to gender and small scale fisheries. And in this case, this project focused in on the systemic failures of sexist data. Um, and so without further ado, we both think um, and we work with people who also think that gender is, is central. And within the IHH framework, this means gender is a cross-cutting uh, issue um, across the other themes of environment, economics, governance, and social and, and nutrition. So this means gender is an important part to understanding where people fish and their impact on the environment, where people sit in the economic value chain, um, what benefits people derive from fisheries, and who has decision-making power over those fisheries. So while gender is central, it is also often invisible. And um, as the gender team, our objective was first and foremost to generate new knowledge on gender and small-scale fisheries, um, cutting across the various different themes of the project. And secondly, to integrate um, gender across these different themes. So um, that was sort of the overarching goal. Um, and in addition to that, it was to kind of cut into the cycle of invisibility in, in gender and fishery data. And that cycle looks a little bit like this. So it means that, um, we're often unable to do gender analysis or be gender inclusive because women primarily are the ones missing from our data. They're missing from our policy. We are also missing the gender capacity, the gender expertise necessary to have policy implementation um, and research implementation um, throughout the research process. And also a failure of imagination to understand what or recognize different types of labor in fisheries. So to do this, um, we put together a team of gender advisors from around the world and we managed to touch on all corners of the world and get representation from various different continents and, and regions of the world. Um, and partly that was to improve the quality of sex disaggregated and gender related data um, in the IHH study, but also to um, go beyond that and to collect insights and knowledge um, context specific for these different areas on on the various different themes of the IHH study. And this would allow for greater context. For example, um, advisors were able to tell us in more details about uh, the, the context specific differences in how men and women interacted with their marine environment. Um, and also the different benefits, such as nutritional benefits, derived from fisheries and how those are um, often mediated by uh, gender norms within different uh, societies. And going beyond some of the economic related benefits to look more broadly at empowerment and how this impacts um, not only men and women, but children and families. And then also some of the governance dimensions in terms of um, participation in governance, but also representation of gender within uh, small-scale fisheries policy and um, other frameworks and instruments. So from this, um, this work uh, with IHH was one step in uh, short-term trying to close that gap in knowledge of gender and small-scale fisheries. Um, and looking forward, we're hoping to be able to highlight how we can create a gender-inclusive cycle, which um, at a very baseline starts with uh, the collection of sex disaggregated data, um, which uh, is absolutely essential to making policy decisions and implementing policy that uh, includes uh, all stakeholders and creates fisheries institutions that reflect the gender diversity of their communities and their countries um, and includes gender expertise so that everybody's labor uh, can be counted. 
So thank you so much for this opportunity for allowing us to share um, our study. Thank you.